Welcome back to another Today in History, my fellow historians. Um, today is August 21st, and we're going to go all the way back to 1831, and we're going to talk about Nat Turner's slave rebellion. Um, so that's when Nat Turner led black slaves and free blacks into a rebellion against white people. So let's get into it. So Nat Turner uh, orchestrated a rebellion that lasted three days. It started on August 21st and ended on August 23rd. Um, it set off a massacre of over 200 black people and a whole new wave of oppression in all things civil rights. Nat Turner was actually really well educated by his original owner. He was born on a plantation, but he was sold three times and his last and final owner was a man named John Travis. Um, but he became... Nat became a, a preacher and claimed that God had chosen him to lead his people from bondage. So an eclipse of the sun convinced him that it was red, that it was time to rebel. So him and six others killed his current owner, John Travis, and his family, John Travis's family. Um, they took horses, guns, gathered 75 more people for the rebellion. Um, I think it was estimated about 55 white people died. Um, he was actually able to hide for six weeks before he was found and hung in Jerusalem, Virginia, with 16 of his followers. Um, it actually arose a lot of fear in the South, and all efforts for emancipation were set back, and harsher laws were implemented um, as far as slaves go. And um, Another thing that really bothered me whenever I was looking into this um, was I found a journal that was written in this time period. Um, it's called the Journal of Negro History, and the section is Aftermath of Nat Turner's Insurrection. I will post the link to uh, this journal. It's 27 pages, it's a PDF file, but it made me very, very concerned because it said he, his body was given over to the surgeons for dissection. He was skinned to supply such souvenirs as purses. His flesh was made into grease and his bones divided as trophy, trophies to be handed down as heirlooms. It is said that there, is, there still lives a Virginian who has a piece of his skin which was tanned. And another Virginian that has one of his ears and skull. And further looking into this, the journal um, says that 61 white people were killed. Um, the 55 is an estimate, but that's what this says, then that's probably more accurate. But there's a lot, and there's even a pamphlet that was released called Nat Turner's Confessions. I will try and find the link to that and post it in the description as well. Um, I'm definitely going to be reading this more because, oh my god. <sighs> well. So today I kind of took a different turn than what I was expecting. Um, I knew about the Nat Turner Rebellion, but I didn't realize it went that deep. Um, so hopefully you learned something new that you didn't know before. Um, if you found any historical inaccuracies, please let me know. I want to be as accurate as possible. Um, I will see y'all again tomorrow. Y'all have a wonderful day and thanks so much for the support.